Right guys, what's going on? What's happening? Um, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I made a video. Reasons for that is uh, weather's been absolutely shit in the UK. And uh, as you can see, I do my videos outside, so can't do nothing if it's raining. Um, but that's soon going to change because I'll be moving soon. Um, and hopefully I have a nice little spot where I can do my videos and summer's coming up anyway so that's a great thing right so um, like I told you many times before I'm deciding that I'm gonna be start doing like um, trading up episodes where I'm gonna be buying and selling cars and hopefully trading up to my dream car for now you know my dream car for now is let's say uh, Lamborghini Gallardo you know aim high achieve somewhere between there which is a uh, Nissan R35 GTR so that's my goal is to get a Nissan GTR at the minute because they're kind of uh, reachable and um, I've been buying cars and I've been trading cars to get something new I've mentioned this a number of times so um, right what I have here have a look at that yeah take a look at that that's a Peugeot let me flip let me flip the camera around and we can I'll, I'll explain more just, just take a look at this badass little whip man just one sec one sec right have a look at this bad boy see that 206 hdi i mean got this car for 200 pound 200 pound um yeah it's rough around the edges it's a solid car that's the main thing it's rough around the edges surface rust just a little little respray Send it down, touch up pain. Have a look at that. Bit of rust there. Surface rust, nothing too deep. This car is absolutely solid. You look at the wheels, look at the tyres. Two owners. This car's got a full service history. It's been well looked after. Tyres again, amazing. Have a look at that. 200 pound. It's got 150 something on the clock. It is a two litre diesel. Diesels will go on forever. The guy I bought this from um, was an older guy. So this car has not been ragged. I can guarantee that. Nice little thing there. I mean, take a look at that. the water out just hit the gym trying to keep up with that that's for my petrol car um give you an update on that soon but yeah have a look at this badass car man it's lovely in here i've been driving this around look at the interior hold on let me let me get started up let's check the mileage I like to reset cars as I get them okay start it up listen to that so I like to reset the mileage you see that's what I've done so far I actually reset it after about 60 miles that I've done I've done 60 miles with the car so far so including that there let's say 160 115 that's the mileage there 156 nothing at all mate let's get back to that uh diesel lasts forever it's got tunes you know how we do right so car's amazing i'm literally i'm over the moon with this buy 200 pound and i'm gonna sell this car i'm gonna give it a nice clean a good detail um literally gonna be doing that's why i want to buy nice little cheap cars like this because they're so much easier to get rid of um, rather than investing in a car that costs a hell of a lot of money uh, they're more harder to get rid of something like this here i'll go for 200 pound i'll easily put this car for about 500 550 quid because that's what they're going for uh diesels are quite desirable um people people want to travel a commuter uh, and they don't want to wreck their cars so they're going to go for something like this this car drives amazing like i said i've done over 200 miles in it already um 
put 20 quid and I'm still I'm still going. I'm waiting for this to run right down and then I'm going to top it up. Well, I'm not going to run right down where I run out of petrol, but yeah, I wanted to go as low as possible. Top it up with diesel. I'm going to give it another Red X, Red X treatment, if that's how you pronounce it. I do that to every car, uh, every bike I buy. Um, so I've done one already with the diesel treatment. I want to do a second tank to clean it out. Um, like I said, it's been serviced already, so don't need to do nothing there. It needs a good clean inside and out. It's not too bad, but I want to polish it up and I want to make it look half decent. That's the plan. I have bought another two cars this week. Uh, I have bought another two cars last week. I need to pick them up this week. So stay tuned to see what I do with them. Um, like I said, I'm going to be buying and selling cars. These are my trading up episodes uh, to get my dream car. Uh, a bit like a wheeler dealer episode i love buying and selling cars i do it without even knowing that i do it because i buy cars enjoy them sell them and buy something else i enjoy but this time here i'm actually going to focus on buying and selling to earn money to buy something a lot better and i show you guys as well that you can do this yourself if you're looking to buy a decent car you can sell anything you know so there's always someone out there wanting to buy something so um yeah let's check the engine out I mean, give it a rev. Amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Let's check the engine out. I'll see you there. Right, that's the engine. I mean, it is absolutely a clean car. It's got everything. It just needs a good detail. Just needs a good clean up. You know, all that surface rust is nothing to worry about. Very clean, two owners. So, yeah. Sounds nice, the belt is absolutely amazing. All sorts of air clean. Right, now you can see how good that engine's running. We know we've got a great car. 200 plus miles already, I've done in it. Not one problem. One tank of pet, not one tank, I uh, need to rephrase that. 20 pound worth of petrol, in, uh, diesel in here, and um, still going strong. I've topped up, picked this up um, last week. I uh, was gonna do videos on it, but to be honest, like I said, the weather is it's just crazy, raining, everything, non-stop. But yeah, I love diesels, you know. I, diesel is not my pref pref preferred um, car. Uh, I like my petrol cars, I like performance cars. But I like diesels uh, ever since I got the Audi A3. I love diesels and just driving around in them. Uh, they're just so economical. Like in my TTRS, I'm literally spending more than 200 pound a month just going up and down as well in my TTRS. This here, I'll be lucky if I, I mean, I'll, I'll be unlucky if I spend more than 60 pound a month, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. So, great thing. Like I said, I'm not gonna keep it. Um, just to buy it's just to sell it's just to get something else next and keep trading up keep trading up and hopefully this time um, hopefully by August around my birthday time um, I've got enough money to to buy a GTR uh, hopefully well that's what I'm aiming for is a GTR so um, it's a bit cold so I'm gonna shut this bonnet and get back in the car and we'll talk about it more first of all uh, we've got a few little marks here Bonnets, front chips, but nothing too bad. It's it's a great little car. It's a great little car. I mean, take a look at that. Once you get that good old polish, let's walk all the way around it. Give that a good old polish, a good old detail. Should be looking good as new. I mean, even the underneath is good. Have a look at the underneath. Ugh. Look at that. Look at that. That's the boot inside as well. Have a look at that. Right, and it's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's the boot. Literally. Have a look. See that? Look at that. Never been in any car crashes. Never been in anything. The car is absolutely clean in here. 
Um, got my little Maguire polishing stuff, like I said, detailing the car. Um, this is the stuff that I use on my diesels and my petrols. So you get one for petrol, you get one for diesel. I've done, I've done one already, so half of one. So I'm going to do another one at some point. Um, yeah, have a look at the car from the back. There you go. It's a lovely little car. £200 car challenge. Double my money. Go damn clean, you know what I mean? Great little profit to be made. Literally doubling my money on this. So, get back in a nice warmth. Oh, it's absolutely amazing in here. Um, smells good. Uh, not a smoker's car or nothing like that. So, not too bad. Right, let's shut the engine off. Okay, cool. So, um, updates on what's going on with the channel. Right, um, like I said, I love buying and selling cars. Uh, that's the way we're going. Um, that's the route I'm taking. I'm going to be doing trading up episodes. That's my focus on what this channel is going to be based on. It's based about buying and selling cars and motorbikes, um, becoming a wheeler dealer, uh, becoming a car trader, uh, trying to make a full-time job of it, trying to make something positive come out of this. Uh, I do work, I will continue working, but um, because I work uh, 5 in the morning and I finish about 11, 12 in the morning, I've got the rest of the day to do something and I'm going to be productive with that time and try and make a little buying and selling cars series you know episodes and just try and show people that you know there's ways to make money so if you if you looking to make money there's good ways to do it and there's good ways to get uh items uh stuff that you want you know stuff that you you want to get a new car um just wheel and deal find something cheap flog it on cleaning up flog it on just don't get nothing that's shit don't get nothing that you know is gonna bite you in the ass you're gonna be stuck with something get something take it for a test drive Make sure that car drives amazing. I've said this to you a number of times. Mileage doesn't matter if the car has been looked after. And cosmetic things, they don't matter. You can always touch up things. Just don't buy something that's going to be absolutely messed up, mate. Because then you're going to worry about... You're going to be putting a lot more money into it. So, um, yeah. Get something that's decent enough, um, cosmetic-wise, that you can just do a little touching up here. A good little, even even clean the car really good and you can still flog it on with scratches. There's always, someone will buy this car just to drive to work. They don't really care if it looks like a Ferrari or not. They don't. Um, so, 200 pound car. Peugeot 206, um, diesel, two litre, great little car. And I'm gonna clean this up this week and I will show you the finished product of what I do when I do my cleaning up because I love detailing. I was doing detailing before even detailing was a thing, you know. I was buying cars, like you know, this is my passion, buying cars that need a lot of work um, because I want to get something cheap, you know. I don't want to spend the top money for a car, you know, if I can get it for half the price or or even a quarter less of the price because it needs um, to be cleaned up, because it needs a service, because it needs a few little bits and pieces. I'm happy to take that uh, task on. So, um I'm going to show you exactly what I can do when it comes to cleaning, detailing cars, and we're going to flog it on. Like I said, I bought two other cars as well, and I will be picking them up. One I will be picking up this Friday. Uh, you guys see that. It's one of my favorite all-time cars. Literally love it. And um, another one of my all-time favorite cars. Always buy stuff that you enjoy, something that you know will sell. Don't buy things that are not going. Always uh, research on the market. If you see something you want to buy, look at things that you can see are selling. You know that. Look at things that got bids. Look at things that are like got quite going up up in price. You know, like not as in, uh, like not as in going up in price because they're becoming collectible. Um, look at items because basically they they desirable. People need something like that. Um, notice that diesels are selling a lot more than what petrols do for some reason because people need something like this for a daily driver so obviously it's going to work out better for them to have a diesel right um so 
TTRS, I'm going to be getting a custom exhaust pipe made for the TTRS. I'll be going on Friday, so first thing in the morning, I'll probably make a video of that. In fact, I definitely will make a video of that. So Friday morning, we'll be going to a company. I'll fill you in when we drive into that company. I need to get an MOT done. I need to change the brakes. Um, like I said, sorry about not being able to dish out videos on the TTRS because the weather's been absolutely crazy in the UK. If you live in the UK, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then um, just, yeah, the weather's just nasty, mate. Winds, gale force, trees falling down, flooding. Yeah, crazy. So, yeah, anyways, TTRS video uh, update Friday, and then we'll be doing a build on that as we go slowly and surely. I do have my Audi A3 3.2 V6, the VR6. I will be doing a turbo build on that as well. I've been acquiring parts. I've spoken to a few people that... Um, know about this kind of stuff i've got um looking to buy some bits of um manifolds and everything else and find out a bit more before i jump into it um but yeah that's another story let's just keep on target so life on the throttle the trading up channel the guys looking to get a gtr this is my story hope you guys enjoy um please comment below let me know what you think um don't be shy uh this channel can only grow if your guys help so if you haven't subscribed please make sure you hit subscribe and kind of bear with me wait until friday i'll be dropping a video on the ttrs and i'll be dropping a video on the new car I bought as well that needs a bit of work as well but we're going to make a decent profit on that um possibly um 30% profit always aim to get like if, if I get something like this as well just another tip as well I talk so much man um, another tip if you buy something like this always look to get um, starting off don't be too greedy but go for something decent and always look for like at least a 200 always look for 50% on your on your profit when it comes to small little things like this you don't want to waste your time traveling to pick up stuff um, and not make enough money you want to get a 50% profit on this. So 200 pound, I'm gonna ask 500 quid for this. I will get that, I guarantee I will get that. Um, even if I sit on this, this car, I'm driving it as a daily. So it doesn't bother me how long I sit on this because I'm literally, I'm accumulating cash every single day, mate. I'm, I've got cash just going back in my pocket by driving this car. I've not topped it up once since that 20 quid. Um, and that's that's me already making money on this car. Technically, if I didn't sell this, I'm going to be a lot richer through through the months because I'm not spending literally like two hundred pound a month, if not more, on the TTRS. Um, so, and I don't want to drive the TTRS as a daily driver as well. So it's not really, um, it's not the way to do things when you're trying to work on them. So, but yeah. So next car I'm getting, uh, won't tell you what it is. You gotta wait and to see that, and you're gonna love it. It needs a bit of work. It's not too too badly damaged or anything like that. I'll probably make about. Well, let me just. We'll talk about that that day. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd update you on my two hundred pound car, my two hundred pound car challenge that everyone seems to be doing these days, and I will be selling them. I'm just gonna do my two hundred pound car challenge. This is it, and um. Yeah, I'm going to include it in my becoming a trader business. You know, I'm going to make something of this. Um, hope you guys enjoy and I hope you follow me on this journey. Um, I've been buying and selling cars, not as a trader, but just to to get things. So uh, it will be good to see how good I progress um, on 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 the channel, you know, to see where we start off here and we end up there. I think it's going to be great and it would be so good for you guys to get involved. Um, comment below and let me know what you guys think. If you people are looking to make a bit of cash, this is the way forward. Um, pe everyday people want cars. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're looking to make a business or something, I mean, just stay tuned. Watch the channel and maybe one day you might think, you know what, if he can do that, I can do it. But, yeah, fingers crossed for now. I mean, not done anything yet, so you never know what can happen tomorrow. But yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, which will be Friday. So stay tuned for that and uh, hope you all are well. Thank you for all you people that have subscribed to the channel and thank you for all you people that still subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate uh, your constant support and um, yeah, it means a lot, man. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Um, hope you're all well. Uh, take care and check in the next video. Peace out, guys.